Let's learn about break statement in C programming. I'll write a for loop. So I'll initialize i to 1 and uh, the condition is i is less than or equal to 5 and i plus plus. For every iteration of this for loop, i value gets incremented by 1. So I'll display the word apple 5 times, that is 1 to 5. So i is initialized to 1 and the initialization statement executes only once. So after that, it only checks the condition that is i less than or equal to 5 and then it executes the statements and then it increments the i value. Okay, So let's check the output. So it should print the word apple from 1 to 5 and it's working. So let's introduce the keyword break here. When, when i is equal to 3, let's execute the break statement. So what happens is the control exits this loop and whatever is present after the loop gets executed okay in this case we don't have any statements after for loop so the loop executes only two times okay one and two for third time the break is encountered and the control exits this for loop now let me write nested for loop i'll take another variable j so i'll assign j to a value 1 now so j is less than or equal to 3 and j plus plus again I'll write a simple single line statement that is percentage %d I'll write apple sorry I'll write IBM here apple apple we shouldn't get confused so I'm using the name IBM here so I'll display for every iteration of outer for loop inner for loop executes for three times that is j is equal to one and j executes still uh, j is it executes still j is less than or equal to three that is one to three okay so let me input break statement here when j is equal to two so inner for loop now executes only one time when when the iteration when the second iteration comes j is equal to 2 gets executed and the break statement is encountered and the control exits that inner for loop so outer for loop still works five times the inner for loop works only for one time for second iteration the break statement is uh, encountered and the control exits that inner for loop okay that's it so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Uh, also share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.